Oregon man accused of killing his teenage girlfriend 19 years ago has his conviction overturned. A judge has ruled DNA evidence from an unknown male should have been disclosed during trial, and it might have impacted the outcome. Amy Frazier here with the new information in this case. Amy? Nicholas McGuffin has spent nine years in prison for a crime he says he didn't do. Now, DNA evidence from the victim's shoe could set him free. Mr. McGuffin has maintained his innocence all along. Since this happened in 2000 and throughout trial in 2011. The case started in June of 2000. 15 year old Leah Freeman disappeared while walking in her hometown of Coquille, south of Coos Bay. The search made national headlines. Five weeks later, her body was found on an embankment outside of town. I've got a horrible fear that this case is never going to be solved. Um, there have been cases here that haven't been solved. For years, there were no answers, no arrests. Then in 2011, a jury convicted the victim's boyfriend, Nicholas McGuffin, of manslaughter. He has spent nine years in prison. We know now, and the court has recognized in post-conviction, that there was actually exculpatory DNA belonging to some other guy, not Mr. McGuffin. Attorney Janice Puracal, who now runs the Forensic Justice Project, first started looking into the case when she was with the Oregon Innocence Project. Lawyers and volunteers discovered that scientists with Oregon State Police found a trace amount of DNA from a different man on the victim's bloody shoe, but didn't report it. We argued in the post-conviction court that the state lab should have disclosed the exculpatory DNA evidence and that evidence should have been considered to show that Mr. McGuffin is actually innocent. No one knows for sure how it may have impacted the outcome of the trial, but on Friday, a judge ruled that the lab violated McGuffin's constitutional rights by not disclosing the evidence and overturned his conviction. And the state could now appeal that decision. They have 30 days to decide. If the state decides not to appeal, the Coos County District Attorney could retry the case or dismiss the charges. Back to you.